back. This is the eGuru series on veterans. My name is Kit Lancaster with GCG Financial, and we're going to continue talking today with veteran business owners as well as different veteran resources throughout the community, the universities here in Chicagoland, helping veterans start their own businesses and learn more about entrepreneurship. My guest today is, De my guest today is Denise Chang with Veteran to Ventures at University of Illinois at Chicago. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming in today. Denise, tell us a little bit about, tell our viewers about what is Veteran to Ventures. So veteran, Veterans to Ventures, or V2V uh, for short, is our immersive entrepreneurship program for military veterans looking to start a business. And when did this program start? Like how did the university come about to, you know what, we, we need this program, there's a need for veterans to start their own businesses or a platform to facilitate and target them? So it was conceptualized in the fall of last year. Uh, we had uh, some professors and our uh, executive director for our Institute for Entrepreneurial Studies uh, decide that we really needed to have something comprehensive and meaningful for, for veterans who are looking to explore entrepreneurship and, and start a company. And with that, we explored uh, what was already out there and available for them. And what we found was a 90-day remote learning uh, education platform, which is put out through Syracuse University, which is a great program um, and fits a lot of needs. Um, uh, however, we wanted something that was uh, more immersive uh, with the community so that as someone was returning from service and needed to be reintegrated into society and, and, and feel really a part of the community, we thought as, you know, the University of Illinois Chicago, UIC is right in the heart of downtown. Uh, we're a diverse university. Why not really bring someone on campus, have them there as part of the 16-week semester, really get them involved with other students, give them, you know, like a full student experience uh, as opposed to a remote learning experience. And so that was the idea that was uh, proposed in the fall of, of last year. Uh, we went through the process of getting it approved as a course to offer in the, uh, in the spring as a pilot. And then over the spring, as we ran our first section, we got it approved as a graduate uh, certificate course. So now veterans taking this class will actually get a graduate certificate in uh, business through the university by taking this uh, Veterans to Ventures class. So college credit uh, for, for their efforts. So with that, just to explain in a little more detail for, the, for our viewers and for myself too, what does that mean? When I think of, oh, it's graduate school, it's a graduate school program, do I need to go take the GRE? Um, do I need to enroll in at UIC as a graduate student? So, no, you don't have to take GRE, so that's awesome. great. <laughs> you can bypass sure that step. It's, it's be great not a fun step to take. Uh, so no GRE required. Uh, you do uh, get a, an enrollment in the university, but you don't have to go through the application process. And this is actually free for veterans. Okay. So you're not paying for the college credit, although you are getting uh, two uh, credits per class. And this is... Uh, three classes that, that go together for the entire certificate program. Uh, so this does go towards if you wanted to pursue a, a full master's degree. Uh, but right now you would get a certificate, in, a graduate certificate in business uh, for taking this. And it would be one night a week for two and a half hours over the course of a 16-week semester. That would be the first part. And the first part is really coming in and learning what are all the different um, aspects of a business. So we break it down to like there's four core functions of a business. You have your, your concept, so what problem are you solving for what customer segment? You have your, your marketing and your sales, and how are you gonna uh, sell uh, your, your product or your service? You have your operations and how uh, you're gonna make money from this, and then you have your organization. Like, are you, what type of legal entity are you gonna be? What type of employees? And do you have a board of advisors? And, and that sort of thing. So we go over all of those functions of a business uh, within the class. And while you're learning those topics, you're also uh, having to propose an idea. You're uh, put on a team, you self-select teams, and then you have to create a business uh, around a, 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 you have to create a business solution around a problem that has been proposed in the class. And at the end of the class, you have to present that like as a mini pitch night. Uh, so we have a pitch night where you get up with your team and you say, here's our problem. Uh, this is a problem we're trying to solve. Here's how we're going to solve it. Here's how we're going to make money. Um, and at the end, we decide a winner, you know, who had the best, uh, you know, market solution fix, uh, who had the best presentation. And then the next class, you would actually then implement that. Uh, so then you go forth and you really start to, to build that, that product or that service. So with your, with your class that you just closed up, 
Uh, what did you guys, what, what did the university and, your, and, and as uh, you know, faculty and staff, what did you learn about the respected either veteran audience or within the course that, that uh, you'll be applying and moving forward with? So with this being our pilot course, the first one that we, we offered, uh, we, we weren't sure what to expect exactly in terms of the, the feedback from the students uh, and uh, how they would uh, take how the, curric you know, the curriculum that was proposed and the, uh, the work that was done. And we were really pleasantly surprised. Uh, the students absolutely loved it and they really uh, applied themselves. And so we were really, I mean, far exceeded our expectations. Uh, when we got to our, our pitch night for our final showcase, uh, just everyone in the audience, we, we invited an audience of uh, business owners, other students, uh, you know, assistant deans and deans of the, uh, of the uh, UIC uh, came and watched, and they were just so surprised to see the level of competency that these students had. And we were uh, really happy to see that. And uh, it was nice to see because the, the class was a mix of, of uh, military veterans and uh, PhD and master's students in, in other colleges, so not from the college business, but from engineering and um, liberal arts and sciences. And we mashed them together in this class. And it worked out really well because it provided a really nice dynamic within the teams of people who had great leadership skills, like the, the veterans, uh, who could really guide the direction and the work of the team um, and had great uh, ideas that they wanted to propose businesses around. Um, and you had uh, engineers and uh, psychology students who uh, also had you know great ideas, but then also could build prototypes. Um, and that was probably our, our um, most, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the team that we were like the most surprised and, and, and astonished by was the Sky Farmer team who within the 16 weeks built a prototype of their, uh, you know, drone uh, their, uh, to measure farms and how the crops are doing on the farms. I mean, we never expected to have a prototype built in this class. Just we wanted them to be able to understand business concepts, see how they could uh, look at a problem out in the marketplace and develop an idea that could have commercial viability around it and be able to articulate that in front of a group. You know, building a prototype, it, it was, you know, far beyond what we expected, but we were so happy to see that. I mean, they really applied themselves, so it was great to see that. Yeah, that, that, uh, that was a great presentation. I, I was yeah. there for that pitch <laughs> night. Uh, highly recommend you know, checking out. You can learn a little bit more about Sky Farmer. We do have a follow-up interview that will be on Meet Advisors. Uh, with some members of that team talking about their experience with veteran adventures. So Denise, if you're a veteran out there, you're watching this and you think, gosh, maybe I want to be an entrepreneur, or maybe I want to learn more about launching my own business, how do they look, engage you? How do they, they learn more or sign up for your program? Well, they can uh, contact us either by email or phone. Uh, we have a program coordinator, his name is Brian Crott. He's our uh, veterans program coordinator. He's the one who is actively promoting the class and uh, taking interested applicants for this next fall semester, which will start uh, August 25th. And uh, you could email him. Um, what is his email address? That's it's okay. uh, uh, B as in boy, <laughs> C-R-O-T, uh, B-C-R-O-T, at UIC.edu. Uh, you could also uh, go on our website at um, UIC.edu and then just type in B2B. Uh, that will take you to our B2B page and you'll have all the information there. Um, or you can call our office. Uh, our office number is 312-996-2670 uh, and we'd be happy to connect you with Brian to, uh, and get you on board for the, the class or at least give you the information uh, for, for the class that's coming up. Well, Denise, we really appreciate your time here at Meet Advisors. If you're a veteran out there or you know a veteran that's thinking about a business, I highly recommend checking out this program. I've, I've sat in on several of their classes um, and been in been able to be a contributor as a veteran business owner myself and veteran entrepreneur. Uh, for more about Meet Advisors, for more veteran business owners and topics that cater to veterans in transition, uh, meet, excuse me, you can find us at meetadvisors.com. My name is Kit Lancaster, GCG Financial. Thank you very much.